The world we live in today is gradually or has already shifted into a world where university degrees cannot be the only source of income. As the world continues to evolve, people continue to increase and diversify their streams of income and one of the major ways to increase our streams of income is to acquire different skills. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Samo, a second year medical student a third year medical student currently studying in Rostov State Medical University. On this channel, we'll talk about productivity, time management, how to study effectively, and generally my life as a medical student. So if you're up for topics like this, a sub to the channel and a like to this video will be an amazing thing to do. In this video, guys, I'll be talking about what skills are actually important to learn now and how to go about learning them and how to increase your income from these skills from the comfort of your home using the same gadget you're using to watch me right now. Guys, if you're actually not subscribed to my channel, I would love you to actually hit the subscribe button right now and give a thumbs up to this video because this video would actually contain a ton of value that would actually help other people, not just you. And you giving a nice rating by liking and subscribing to the channel would actually help YouTube help me take this video to other viewers that can actually benefit from this. And you can also share this video to your friends to also benefit from this video. And so without wasting of time, let's get into the video. Just some days ago, I was scrolling through my WhatsApp and I came across the status and this was a video of a guy actually talking to a girl about a popular guy talking about um, university degrees and it made a very valuable point that the world we live in was once a world where um, university degree was actually the hot cake then. If you could graduate in high or high grade or with flying colors, you could actually be assured a very good paying job and at that point, in fact, having one single job was the main day you could actually take care of your family provide for your basic needs with just one job but as the world continue to evolve all that is actually not enough anymore now employees are looking for graduates with even though high scores or high grades in school but also with specific workplace skills and even having just one single stream of income is not enough to even cater for your personal needs or basic needs talk more of now catering for other ones or actually having luxury in your life and as a result of this the reasons to diversify your income or to increase your streams of income have actually increased in this video the first of the series i'm going to be talking about three skills that can actually help you um increase your income or diversify your streams of income in this 2021 and which will naturally make you a better person generally the first skill i'm going to be talking about today is photography and this is actually funny to talk about because just some days ago i got my first um a loan photo shoot it's actually funny because i've been to other photo shoots but i was just supporting my friend or supporting some other main photographers but just some days ago i had my own like a loan personal photo shoot and i snapped with the camera of course i've been into photography for over two years since i got my iphone xr and now i'm shooting with the canon camera photography is just basically telling stories with picture Always, people are always going to need pictures. Organizations, companies are always going to need pictures for their adverts to actually publicize a particular product or a course. People will always need pictures for birthday shoots, pre-wedding shoots, even wedding shoots, or just the general pictures or even street photography. And so diving into photography can actually mean a lot to actually increase your income in 2021 or even after 2021. The difference is you can actually make money from photography. First, you can work personally with a client. This is when someone hires you and you work for that person. The person pays you probably for a personal shoot or even for a company or an organization. And this can actually continue if you work well and deliver valuable stuff to the customer. And this person can become a permanent or returning customer or even refer you to other people another way to actually make money from um, photography is if you can sell your pictures there are a lot of people who take um, street photography or just different type of concept or any type of picture that people can actually sell online for video creators to use or for any type of person to actually use for whatever they want to use it so people sell pictures online another way to make money from photography which is actually a very interesting one is if you can um, learn the skill very well to mastery level you get to a professional level in photography you can start selling your or teaching your skill in form of um, courses or in fact just make a video or sell it on a particular platform perhaps like YouTube Skillshare you make a course and people pay or um, by virtue of you being on that platform you make money by teaching people things in photography or you can just create your own personal course to teach the whole of photography and that way you can make money or even have having apprentices people you are teaching personally without using the internet people you are just teaching personally physically you can actually make money from that 
if you dive into photography. I basically started photography two years ago, like I said. At that point, I when I first got my iPhone, and we all know what iPhone does to their cameras, it's the best. Why did I go into this? Of course, I was so fascinated by the iPhone camera, and I just wanted to, at that point, I just wanted to snap anything, press the shutter, snap whatever it is, take it into my gallery, and in the edit function of the gallery, I just press auto and see the magic happen, and I was just very happy. But after a particular point in time, I got deeper into it, and I started taking portrait photos with my phone, and my friend, of course, Emmanuel, he taught me um, how to edit in the gallery with my phone. So I was able to start tweaking exposure, I was able to start using vignette i was able to start using different stuff in my phone and then i got um further into using a digital camera but at that point i couldn't see um i had to learn the digital camera using the iso and all of that i had to use the digital camera but i couldn't edit on a pc so i had to transfer the pictures from my camera to my phone to actually edit on my phone and then i got to a point i had to learn editing on the pc which is what i currently do and so i can now snap on the camera and then immediately transfer to my pc and edit there so actually i've um, grown a lot in photography but of course i'm not yet a pro i'm still learning i still have a lot to learn i think i'm still even a newbie in this photography basically to start with photography i think you really just have to start with whatever you have whatever device you have whatever phone you have you just have to start taking pictures and from there you start getting interested interested in pictures and you start seeing the different parts of picture and that's where you can grow another thing that can help you grow is to actually learn because you can't just be by yourself and think you know everything by yourself you'd have to learn from people from courses online you can take courses on skillshare you can take courses on udemy you can take courses on any platform and even free courses or free videos watching free videos on youtube you can actually learn a lot because that is where i actually am um, falling to i am a um i learned a lot by myself by just watching videos online or asking questions of course if you find anyone who is a good photographer who actually snaps very well if the person is close to you you can ask the person wow how can i do this how can i do this and that way you can actually learn so it's important for you to actually get yourself into it by starting to snap because you will never learn how to snap or edit if you don't start doing it the next key i'm going to be talking about is affiliate marketing and this is very interesting it's actually simple to understand but a little tricky but i don't think although there are a lot of there are risk to everything but the risk to this one or probably losing your money is not really that high affiliate marketing in the simplest language involve you helping a seller get closer to a customer just very simple you helping a seller sell a product to a particular customer and you can sell any range of product whatever it is you can sell a book you can sell tech products you can sell beauty products you can sell cosmetics you can sell anything at all and this cuts across everywhere anybody can sell anything even me as a youtuber i can tell you about an app i can tell you about the service i can tell you about the course and if you buy that course or if you use the app i'm telling you or buy the product i'm giving to you when you buy those stuffs and the money goes to the seller a percentage of that money is given to me and that is where you make your income as an affiliate marketer so for every successful purchase you make for the seller you get a percentage of it and this can actually become a very large part of income in your life as a matter of fact a lot of youtubers have affiliate marketing as their major source of income and affiliate marketing has made millions and millions of dollars for different type of people affiliate marketing is very easy when you have a large audience but of course no one started having a large audience you obviously have to start from somewhere you can start from your family and from there people start referring you and you get to, to grow your audience and you have a large audience and at that point it's easier for you to just pick any product and sell to your customer to get successful with affiliate marketing there are some things to actually take note first thing is that it's important for you as an affiliate marketer to know your audience or the people you are trying to sell to you have to know the type of people the range and what problem you can solve for them that sounds like a cliche but it's actually very important because i can't start selling um, medical books to law students or medical books to students in art class because that wouldn't just make sense to them so you have to know your audience the type of audience and what type of things they use so you'll be able to actually bring the product closer to them another thing to actually take note of when starting as a marketer is that you'd have to find a way to verify the value of the product you're trying to sell or you by yourself try that and make sure it's valuable because when you sell a product to someone 
and it turns out bad the person is obviously going to refer you in a bad way or talk about you in a bad way to other people and that way you would obviously lose that first um customer it won't the person will be a returning customer and obviously also the person will tell other people and that way from that line you lose a lot of customers the last skill i'm going to be talking about is copywriting or writing in general and this is very very interesting in fact this is extremely important i know someone who is very good at this and a level of mastery actually amazes me and this actually inter interests me or makes me interested in copywriting or writing at all writing generally involves you writing of course but of course you could be writing different things you could be writing for your blog post that you have personally that you frequently write upon or you could be writing for organizations to advertise or you could publish a book or you could be a storyteller writing stories on um, different ebook platforms and these are different ways you can actually make money from writing in fact you could be a script writer to a video creator like me or any other youtuber or any other video creator how to start with writing of course i'll advise you start reading first because even the bible says you should um listen more than you speak so the same way you should read more when you are starting you should read more than you write but now at this point that you're reading if you're just starting it's important for you to read a lot in the aspects you love to start writing about at that point you'll be able to um, get yourself familiar with the terminologies with the styles of writing how to convey thoughts into writing how to catch the attention of the reader but very much importantly as much as you are reading you have to also start practicing writing because there is no way you get um to become a master of writing if you don't even start writing at all the person i was talking about that is very good at writing she has written for a lot of um organizations she has written as a ghostwriter she has written my script for me at some point so this type of um this type of person after writing a lot like this even essays and all of that this has helped her become um very good or professional in writing and as such organizations or companies love her writing and love her script and even me i also love when she writes my script for me after you've gotten yourself started with writing i'd advise um after you've got into a level of probably knowledge of writing i'd advise you obviously start asking people around if they need your help with writing and as much if you get one person make sure you ask for future job probably any way you can help them to um write in the future and that way also you can make that person refer you to other people that might need your service and that way you can increase your income by writing so that's been it on the first three skills i'm going to be talking about i've got a lot of other skills i'm going to be talking about how to learn them and how to make money with these skills so make sure you subscribe and like this video so you don't miss out on them and of course if you have any skill you want me to talk about probably a skill you love and i think it's not one of these three and you're not sure it's going to be part of the one i'm going to talk about please you can drop it down in the comment section or if you want to get interested in any of the skills i'm doing of course you can check my instagram bio for all the skills i'm into so you can write me on instagram of course my name is there and we can start talking on how you learn these skills or how to get into any skill you want if you've not seen my first um photo shoot behind the scenes you should click up here actually the video will be linked up there and if you've not watched this video where i talked about how i manage my time as um with all these skills i'm doing then click down here my video is actually there and you should check it out so that's been it i remain sammy fleck and catch you very soon on the next one peace